binge watching the second season of The Crown is in jolly full swing. And Prince Philip is taking a beating. Thanks for not being a jerk like Prince Philip, is something I have been known to say to my husband after an episode of The Crown. Lisa Tazi, at Lisa Tazi, December 15, 2017. Prince Philip, you jerk. Take that back. She is your queen, things I just yelled at the television during episode 5 of season 2 of The Crown. Katie Prejean McGrady, at Katie Prejean, December 15, 2017. But are these harsh assessments of Queen Elizabeth II's husband justified? On the show, which is factually inspired but dramatized for maximum Netflix pleasure, Prince Philip is portrayed as an impolite lout, a womanizer, a whiner, a sore sport and even a potential Nazi. He regularly demeans his wife, the monarchy, and the church. He seems genuinely happy only when Princess Margaret, the Queen's black sheep sister, flouts royal convention by, say, burying her shoulders in the tabloids. Fact-checking, The Crown, Jackie Kennedy vs. Queen Elizabeth at Buckingham Palace. The monarchy is a bit of a black box protective, secretive, manipulative. But here's what, mostly reliable, news accounts and biographers say about Prince Philip. No filter, Prince Philip is known for his verbal gaffes and occasional temper. On the occasion of his 90th birthday in 2011, the independent newspaper compiled 90 of his greatest hits. Visiting China, he said this to a British student, if you stay here much longer, you will go home with slitty eyes. To a 13-year-old boy who dreamed of becoming an astronaut, you could do with losing a little bit of weight. To a nursing home resident in a wheelchair, do people trip over you? Nevertheless, Prince Philip has been a popular figure among the Brits. They see him as honest, down-to-earth and funny. Reluctant husband of the Queen, when Philip and Elizabeth married in 1947, neither of them expected she would be crowned Queen anytime soon. Her father, King George VI, was in his early 50s. Philip, named Duke of Edinburgh, intended to continue his career in the Navy. But the King died five years into their marriage, and Elizabeth became Queen at the early age of 25. Philip was forced to quit his naval career. The Crown portrays his resentment. In 1992, he told an interviewer, I'd much rather have stayed in the Navy, frankly. He later called his resignation naturally disappointing. By many accounts, there was real tension in the marriage. The prince as ladies' man, the crown strongly hints that Philip was a serial cheater. Over the years, the prince has been linked to numerous women including two dancers but neither he nor the women have ever confirmed any sexual trysts. One of the most gripping moments in the show's second season is when Philip's personal secretary and close friend Mike Parker is accused of adultery and sued for divorce in 1958. A massive scandal ensues on the show and in real life, with the implication that Philip must be a cheater, too. That episode shows Elizabeth making peace with her husband by making him a prince. However, News reports from back then suggested Philip was made a prince so he couldn't be forced to testify at Parker's divorce trial, potentially exposing him to uncomfortable and embarrassing questions.